From CES 2013, this is Seth Wild, and here at the RE Audio booth with the new DTX amplifiers. This is a brand new line um, that's aimed a little, that it's aimed a little more at the, the lower wattage, kind of your entry level audio systems. Um, there's a two channel, a four channel, and two mono block amplifiers. Um, all of these are your are analog. You have the the two channel and the four channel as a class A B design, and your two mono blocks as a class D. Now they're they're really designed around the wattage of these things. For your um, for these are going to be for your speakers for around your 65 to 90 uh, watts RMS for your two and four channels here. So that's really determined around um, how much wattage your or how much power handling your speakers require. When you come down here to your amps, you're looking at a 1600 one and a 2000 one. Um, you're gonna get good output here, great sounding um, output from when you're putting these up to your subs here. Um, again, these are class D. Um, you're looking at about 2,000 watts dynamic power on the 2000.1 and 1,600 watts uh, dynamic power there. RMS, that's probably going to be about, or RMS, that's around 800 here and uh, 1,000 watts RMS on this one. So again, overall, this is the um, more entry level, uh, lower wattage for RE. Um, the, their entry level of the four different amp lines. Um, has a nice cosmetic look here, very clean with your uh, with your black end caps here and the nice aluminum um, heat sink casing here. Gonna keep things really cool. Um, you can see you have full controls all along the side so you can really customize and tune and get the sound the way that you need it. So again, this is CES 2013. Remember to subscribe to our, face, or to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, uh, Follow us on Twitter or whatever you do on Twitter and stay in the loop on everything Sonic and CES.